So welcome guys again to BSF Nairobi. This is your friend Kim. Well, thank you so much again for being with us. I, I always tell you guys, uh, we need to work together. We need to do stuff together. We need to encourage each other. Maybe your purpose in life is to help somebody else. Maybe your purpose in life is to help somebody else. Maybe my purpose is to do this and help you guys. And uh, maybe we'll help each other. Maybe at the end of it all. But don't worry. At, I always tell you, BSF is a game changer. We are talking about uh, food security. This is something we need to learn now. We need to prepare early. We need to know it early. As they always say, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And we're not going to plan to fail. But we're going to plan that we don't fail. So guys, today again, I want to do some uh, some few samples for you. And uh, today it's a lot of, it's lot of samples. And if you can just have a closer look here. Uh, today I, I'm still doing the cow dung. I traveled again to get this cow dung. You can look at it. At, uh, it's, it's very clean and like the first one I did. Uh, today I want to do just cow dung alone. I remember I did do cow dung alone some time back. But uh, it, was so, it was so dirty. It, was, it, it wasn't clean. But I want to do this. The previous one I did it was cow dung and uh, maize jam and cow dung and wheat bran. But today I want to do cow dung alone. I don't, I don't want to say no to these because a lot of you guys have said for sure uh, uh, the cow dung has a lot of fiber. I agree with them. But I want to try it. Because some of you guys, you've got a lot and lots of cows. You are able to get lots and lots of cow dung. So I want, just, I, I, I want to try this for you guys and see it. Because the, one, the first one, it was not clean. So once it fails with this, I'll know cow dung no. But I want to try it. But we did our cow dung and uh, wheat bran and maize jam and it was perfect. So today again I want to do cow dung. Uh, so this I'll do cow dung alone. This I'll do cow dung and some potato peelings. And this I'll do cow dung and uh, a mixture of uh, chicken droppings. And then let me just come on this side. Uh, i show you guys. These are... This is the, 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 the chicken droppings. Because some of you guys are asking this question. You can just have, uh, get a closer look at it. This is how it looks like. This is what you have, guys, uh, 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 once you clean your uh, your place where chickens live. Huh? Lots of guys are asking me, how do I do it? So today I want to show you how you do it. So again, I got some chicken droppings. Once they were cleaned, you can see it still has some bran in it. It still has some chicken food in it, everything. You clean it up. So I want to mix it with water and then I will be able to mix a little bit of it with cow dung and then also I've got some little bit of potato peelings. This is what we get in the market. So this we just picked it from the market. The potato peelings. I will, I will mix with this uh, cow dung and then we see. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of starch. So I'll put some starch in here and uh, we see how it will work the fiber. And then I will work, I, I will mix the chicken droppings with the cow dung again. So what I will do, I will, I will just uh, add some little water on this because we need to have it uh, wet. Let me just get some water here. Because most of you are asking, how do I do it? You know, you, you cannot give your BSF dry. You cannot serve, serve it when it's dry. So I just get my glove here. You, you, we, can't, we can't serve it when it's dry because we, we need to do it when it's wet. Even if you don't uh, take your bread when it's too dry, you need to get some tea or some drink on it. Why, guys, we're doing this is because we want to make it easy for you guys. Again, when you're mixing it, you should not make it too wet. Uh, you need to balance it. So get a closer look here. Uh, this way. Uh, I think this is too wet for me. I think this is too wet. What I'll do, 
I will add some, a little bit of the dry one because again when it's too wet it won't be good so this way so let me just pause a little bit finish mixing it and then I get back to you and I will show you how it is so guys we are we are done mixing so you can get a closer look again so at least with this kind of uh, of a mix with water it's, it looks much better now these the BSF can eat so this is the chicken waste this is the cow dung so what I want to do I, I'll, I'll mix but first first let me show you this one eh? this, this is the cow this is the chicken waste only get a closer look again you can get a, a look at it it's it's a, it's good wet that's that, that's how it is so let's just wait and we see uh, i think i need to do eight kgs of it so that's eight that, that's eight kg you can get a closer look that's eight kg and then so that's uh the chicken which will we'll do the chicken alone and then this is the cow That's another eight. So the chicken and the cow, those two will be eight. And then I need to do the, the cow and the potatoes. Let me just put everything in there. And then where's my glove? Then I, I mix. This was very fast. So I thought of this as a starch because even the BSF loves the starch. So I want to try it and see how it will be. So that's the the cow dung and the potatoes. The cutting the potatoes, just mix it. So let's see the weight. That's uh, around 7.5 kg, 7.4, around 7.5 kg. So I put it there, and then now these, the cow dung. Uh, I want to mix it with the chicken. Because some of you guys have chicken and you're also doing a uh, cow. So you, you've got both of these. So let me just mix it. And uh, because it's a solution, remember again, uh, we're trying to use we are trying to use the same waste we we are having. We, we don't need to go buy some stuff uh, out there. So, let me just get some more here. I think that looks good to me. That's good. Let me get the weight of this. Around 8.9. That's around 9 kg. So, that's it. So what I'm going to do, let me just remove this glove very fast. It's a dirty business, guys. We need to, you need to get your hands dirty. And uh, I place that one down there. And then I need to feed my larvae. So let me now feed my larvae. Want to see the results after a few days how it will be and i believe it will be nice so that's cow dung and uh potatoes this is cow dung alone we need to see the results of this cow dung. some of you guys wherever you are 
You cannot be able to access something else. We need to see this is how it's gonna be. So that's it. And then I bring this here. So this chicken alone, chicken droppings, this chicken and uh, and cardan. It sounds like we are eating something nice. You know when you get to the restaurant, you say oh, chicken and something else. Same thing with BSF. It's gonna be fun. So this chicken and uh, cow dung, we drop it in there, we see, and then this chicken alone, let's add in here, we see again, I feel like it's a little bit wet in there, uh, let me just put just a little bit to dry it, Dry that portion there. There's a portion that I found it a little bit wet. Just to dry there. So so this is it. Just add in there a little bit, a little bit there. There, and a little bit here. So, guys, this is it now. We are waiting for four samples. We've got chicken and cow dung, we've got uh, chicken alone, we've got cow dung alone, and we've got cow dung and potatoes. Remember, guys, some of you cannot be able to do uh, wheat bran. And look at this. BSF, we're dealing with waste here. We want we want to, to use the same waste. I'll tell you very soon uh, some other days how we're going to create waste because even this very waste we are having, it's an issue. We, we will not be having this waste always. It will come to a point where we will we, we'll need to create waste. I'll show you how we're going to create this waste again. So guys, some of you are able to have cow dung alone. Don't worry, let's wait for the results. Uh, some of you are doing cow and still doing chicken. We can combine that let's see how it's going to work because we are looking at something that's going to feed back again that the same cow that's been giving you the milk and the cow dung we want to give it another source of protein which is the bsf larvae remember again u.n statistics show that by 2050 will be around uh, 10 billion population and the biggest part of it will be in africa so this part of food security so guys so guys we're done with our, our samples so as you can see, I've labeled them so that uh, we don't mistake them because I know in a few days they'll be eaten up totally. So you can see how I've done it. So I've just labeled it uh, the eighth day is the eighth uh, of uh, June 2020. So this has cow dung and chicken. The second on the same date has chicken droppings alone. The third one, uh, the same the eighth has cow dung alone. And then the rest, the next one, the same date, has cow dung and potato peelings. So these are the potato peelings we have used, uh, mixed on uh, the cow dung. We want to see how they'll uh, have them. So those are our four samples. So let's just wait and see how they're going to do. Let's get. So guys. Don't put this phone down. Uh, don't put your laptop down. Don't put. Uh, don't shut your PC. Uh, please share with somebody. Share with somebody. From my heart, share with somebody about this. Let us change this. Let us introduce guys in this. There's some guys who are able to bring in even the NGOs. Uh, guys who can support. Come, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's help our brothers and sisters. Let's help everyone. That's gonna be well. So from Protein Master again, we are waiting for the results of this. I, I'm, I'm running all these up and down because for you guys, I know that when you succeed, I have succeeded. Your success is my success. I need to do it. So share again, subscribe to my channel, give it to your friends, to your family, and it's going to be well. So let's give it for uh, another seven days. We see the results. I want to Protein Master again, your friend Kim. I said thank you and thank you again. Even for the friends who have joined Patreon, with my partner Robert from uh, South Africa, he, he's, going, uh, he's been handling guys there, he's getting better. 
and we're loving it. So thank you again, and God bless you. Shalom.